couldn't help but wondering what exactly, why are they leaving, you know, why aren't they just immediately, you know, going and waking him up? Can something happen to him when he did? I, I think that would have been a good idea, you know, when you watch The Matrix, before, um, you know, I, I mean, the, the Neo finds out, you know, in like, what, one of, uh, one of the very first training programs that we really see him do the jump, he, you know, it's revealed to him and the audience, if you die in the Matrix, you die for real. Here, it really wasn't, I mean, I mean, the only thing that really comes close is near the end where Norm, um, I think his name was, his avatar is, um, I believe, killed. And then he wakes up and he, like, is clutching his chest and, like, because his mind, you know, so he almost, so it doesn't quite happen to their actual body, but you didn't know that until then, and, I don't know, maybe it was intentional. It's, when, when you know it, it's a little more difficult to worry about what exactly will happen to Sam's avatar, because it's not going to hurt him, it's just going to, you know... But yeah, at, at first I didn't know, why didn't they just unplug him and he'd wake up and... Okay, well, we might not be able to retrieve the avatar, but you're safe here, I don't know, maybe the scientists were really as cynical as the military people, um, just about different things, I don't know. But, um, I, I do think that that does to some extent, and it was maybe also almost, they they almost got too much leeway with being in the, um, you know, in the Avatar bodies uh, before they got unplugged. Um, I, I do think, I mean, for as many waking up and getting out of the, um, the plug-in bed thing, for as many shots and scenes of that as there was, were, were, it, it never actually got to be, you know, boring to look at, it, and, and I think, I, I do feel that the, um, it, it was convincing that he would wind up feeling more at home in, um, you know, around the Nari, then, um, and, um, but, but, yeah, the, the point is very bluntly stated, you know, Rubisi basically says, we're here because this, um, mineral is very valuable, that's it, we don't give a crap about any life that is here on this planet, and, um, it just, I don't know, it, I, I guess Cameron just wanted it to be that straightforward and, you know, yeah, you, you can't really side with those people and uh, you're not supposed to. Um, it would make the battle scene more difficult to enjoy. <clears throat> None of the CGI is, you know, there just to show off the, um, you know, how well they can do effects or anything. It all has some purpose, you know, every every sequence has some purpose. It sets up something or it pays off to something. There's and and it's never just there to um you know, I mean I mean I watched uh G.I. Joe, that had nice effects too, but there was way too much going on. You can follow all of it and eventually you're you just kinda stop caring and maybe there'd be a sequence here and there that you'd you know, sort of get into, but in the long run, you know, for the last, you know, for, for numerous sequences of it, you just, okay, just get on with it, you know, and maybe enjoyed parts of it, but, you know, there's there's no way to take it all in, and with with Avatar, it's, it's maybe just a little bit beyond what, you, you, maybe you can't take it all in, but it doesn't overstimulate you, it doesn't overwhelm you, it's, you're at no point 
it's it's never unpleasant. Um, it's never too much, and I I will say they've definitely got um, emotional response um, from the audience uh, with the the animation. You know they were you you could you know they they felt uh real enough i don't want to use the word human they felt real enough the nari and the creatures and all of it it felt real and alive and natural and organic and um that that just really worked um you know you you felt it when you know the um um Nekitiri or whatever was you know crying over her um, impaled uh, father and you know it it all it all worked. I think that Sam's gradual you know feeling more and more like one of the Nari that that felt very true to you know how identity works. You know it's you know your surroundings and what you feel that you can most agree with and he didn't want to be a mercenary so you know it um so in the end it you know it's been called revolutionary is it my two cents yes and no no not as storytelling and filmmaking not as far as those go it's a great film and it's you know the high quality that you know we expect from James Cameron but it's not you know not beyond what we've seen from him before in that regard visually yes the you know I've never seen such photorealistic effects and effects have never before to that degree to me affected me you know gotten me involved and engaged in in the plot in the characters <clears throat> not not anywhere near to that extent um, though district 9 came very very close I, th I think in the end it's kind of like with the matrix it's not really anything you haven't already heard but it's really well presented and it's presented in a film and in a genre that you might not offhand expect to have anything deep and anything to really offer to the audience um, and I think that's it so